Hey everyone, this is Scott from Norebo.com, and what you're seeing here is a time lapse of what it took to illustrate the Hawaiian Airlines livery on the A330-200. Now, I'll tell you right off the bat, this one was not as difficult as it looks. The problem was how detailed it was. And, you know, you might think that, okay, detailed equals difficult, but in this case, not so much. The issue was that it's just very detailed, and it's just a matter of tracing delivery. So what I'm doing here is tracing every little piece of this livery over top of a fairly high-resolution photo that I found, I believe, on, on Flickr, or it might have been Google Images or, or something. I, I don't remember where I got it. But I found the image, I got it all set up in Adobe Illustrator, and I just sat down, rolled up my sleeves, and got after it. This entire process, I'll tell you, it took four hours. So this 10-minute video is a culmination of four hours of work of just mostly tracing. And basically, this entire video, or maybe, maybe three-quarters of this video, is just me illustrating delivery and not actually applying it to the aircraft template. That last 25% is what it took to apply it to the template, which was the easy part. But for now, I'm just kind of slogging it out, just illustrating every little piece. And also, it was really important to find a high-resolution reference photo of this livery actually applied to the A330. Because in the past, or the, the, the previous version of this livery that I illustrated, yes, I've done this before, <laughs> this isn't my first rodeo, but the first time I took a graphic that I found from a, a, an aircraft decal company, and I used that as my base. I kind of traced around that graphic, and then I tried to apply it to the aircraft or right over top of my template, but it didn't look right, and that's because... The, the fuselage of the aircraft is actually a cylinder, and then as you get towards the top and the bottom, the graphic is going to wrap around, and if you're working from a flat decal, it's not going to look right when you actually apply it to the template. So that's why it took a while to find just the right photo for this, the reference photo. I had it, had to be perfectly side-on, showing that wrap, how it wraps around the top and the bottom, and then also something that was clear enough where I could see every little detail and just trace everything. And let me tell you, this is a complicated livery. <laughs> As you're seeing here, there are so many little pieces and parts and little holes and negative spaces and radiuses, and it's it got maddening after a while. I, I mean, I did this all in one shot, four hours in front of my computer. I didn't take a break. Well, maybe maybe some bathroom breaks and maybe a snack break, but I just did it in one shot. By the time I got to the end, I was I was fried. But um, And also, it's worth saying that you don't have to be perfect when you do something like this, simply because no one's ever going to notice the little imperfections. And that's kind of crazy for me to say because I'm a total perfectionist. I, you know, I, so a lot of times I'll do an illustration, and even if it took hours, I'll if I'm not happy with it, I'll go back and I'll do it again. But when it comes to something like this, something so intricate, as long as you get it maybe 90 percent, 95 percent, no one's ever really gonna know. <laughs> so yeah, what I'm saying is what I'm doing here is it's not perfect. It's created by hand. Uh, the photo, I mean, there's there were some things in the photo that I couldn't see, and I just had to guess. And then on top of that, the photo didn't totally match my 100% side-on template. So the, the, the view or the angle of this photo, and the, I don't know what you call it, the, um, the, the, the focal length is different than what my template is. So it's not going to match my template exactly. And I knew that as I was tracing this. And I thought, you know, it's, it doesn't matter. Just get it as close as you can. And I, because I know I'm going to have to tweak and, and fudge this and make some modifications when I start applying it to the template. So as long as you think like that, and if you don't try to, to make it absolutely 100% perfect, you're going to do fine. It's, you know, it's, it's just, it's okay to make mistakes and uh, just, just getting 90% or heck, even 
I mean, that's, it's a good feeling once you get it all done. So now that I've got all the, uh, the floral portion of it completed, I'm on to uh, Pualani here. I think that's how you pronounce it, Pualani. Uh, this is very easy considering what I just went through. And of course, as I was just saying, my brain was fried when I got to this point, and I just wanted this to be done. <laughs> I just I wanted it to be over. But I'm getting close, and there was a little bit of anxiety that I was feeling at this point because, as I said, I whenever you apply it, whenever you take your illustration or your tracing, and then you apply it directly to the template, it's not going to go perfectly. There are always things that are going to be not quite correct. You're gonna have to make some adjustments, make some uh, make some adjustments that maybe aren't accurate in the real livery, but as I said, no one's gonna notice. So now we're doing the the uh, little wingtip illustration here, that graphic, and yeah, the line work is complete. Now I just gotta go back and punch through all the holes and close all the lines and. Uh, yeah, I'm getting getting real close. Feeling really good at this point because the hard work was over, and now it was just a matter of cleaning everything up and getting all the details correct, making it all one piece, so I could just take the entire thing and then dump it on my template, which you will see in a moment. I'm not worried about color at this point. I'm just worried about getting all the shapes correct, making sure there are no open lines and making sure all the holes are in the right places and getting everything right. I'll tell you what, this this rear section, this floral section, I, I don't know, yeah, just the, the aft <laughs> section of the livery, that was actually more difficult than the the individual, the, the, the flowers and the, 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 the leaves and the main part of the fuselage, just because it's more intricate. There's more layers. There's more pieces interacting with with other pieces, and it's just really, I'm just going to say it, a pain in my butt, <laughs> but we're getting there. And this part was so complicated, actually, that I had to start using colors to separate the different pieces so I knew what was what, and so I could keep track of everything, and uh, it was the only way I could do it. I couldn't do it all black because then I wouldn't know which piece fit where. It was like putting a puzzle together, and... I think I got it, as you'll see at the end. I mean, once you see the final livery or the, the final illustration, you'll think that, yeah, maybe maybe I do know what I'm doing. I mean, I, if you look at it with a fine-tooth comb, you'll see that it's it's not perfect, but it's 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 close. So again, using the, the color technique here where I'm just trying to use different colors to make sure that it's all correct in the way it's supposed to be. So... And then once I had all that, I took a real photo or that same reference photo and then sampled the colors off that to get the individual pieces. So now, now comes the fun part. I have copied that from Adobe Illustrator and pasted it into my template over here in uh, Photoshop. And now I've got my, my template on the bottom there with all the pieces stripped away, like the wing and the landing gear and all that stuff, just to see the fuselage and the vertical stabilizer so I can see what I'm doing, making sure that I've got all the pieces in the right places. I've got my reference photo just above. And again, I'm not tracing at this point anymore. I'm not tracing anymore because I know my template and that photo are not going to match up 100%. So I just have to eyeball it at this point. And having that reference photo large right above my template as I'm working and placing things is how I got it to fit. And honestly, I didn't have to do all that much tweaking once I got it here on my template. It fit pretty close. But as I was saying, the, the, the focal length of the, of the photo and then the perspective of my template is, is different. So um, all things considered, it wasn't all that bad. I'll just say that. And now the little details, getting the uh, the Hawaiian logo on there and then registration numbers and, and all that stuff. So yeah, four hours worth of work right here, even though it probably doesn't look like it. But some of these liveries, especially this Hawaiian Airlines livery, it's just so complicated. Or it's not complicated, it's just detailed and it takes time to work through. So I know that was fast and... I know there's probably going to be questions, so do feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. I will try to get to them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.